in Moore County, dozens of volunteers came to turn these sheds into shelters. As WRL's Eric Miller explains, the goal is to provide people in Western North Carolina with some temporary housing, especially as winter starts to move in. Saturday, the Moore County Fairgrounds smelled like barbecue and sounded like a sawmill as crews of volunteers turned this lumber into living spaces one board at a time. They're going to be living quarters for people that have lost their homes in Western North Carolina. Brian Kennedy is with Squared Away Response, the group that organized this event. All day long, volunteers assembled these 10 by 16 foot insulated sheds and prepared to ship them out with generators and heaters. The goal was to put uh, at least two people in. It could fit a family of four. Uh, it will be tight, uh, but to get them out of tents and get them off the ground and out of the weather and keep them cool and dry. The unique thing about this project is that we are building each component of these sheds. Um, so the walls are being built, the flooring system and the roof, and we're building them so that they can be stacked on top of each other um, for transport. Casey Burton, also with Squared Away, says more than 40 local businesses are involved in this project, backed by thousands of dollars in donations. And just remember there are neighbors. They're in Western North Carolina and they need us. This is a personal cause for many helping out. My feet today is in Moore County at the fairgrounds, but my heart at this moment is still in Western North Carolina. Crews are aiming to get 15 sheds ready for shipment today and to build as many as 50 total. The guys here will put one of these together in a couple of hours. Co-owner Michael Crumpler says Squared Away has been involved since the storm hit. First sending food and supplies and now transitioning to shelter. Then stage three is going to be going up and helping rebuild and repair homes. These temporary homes, he says, part of a permanent commitment to helping neighbors to the West. Eric Miller, WRAL News. Now, there was also a barbecue plate sale today as part of that Raise the Roof fundraiser. The money raised supports those construction workers for those shelters.